Hey, hey, good morning. Technology is trying to get be a challenge. All right, let's see if we got better connection now. It's really trying its best to keep me off this video today, so you know it's going to be juicy. All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Cindy, and our title today is Three Reasons Why Women Choose Natural Childbirth. So first things first, if you're watching on any social media, leave me a comment, say hi, drop a comment and a question or anything like that. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a comment and share with a friend in need that needs to hear what we're talking about today. Alrighty, so let's start out with a story. Let's see. Well... When I was little, I always wanted to be a mom, and I, when I grew up, I thought it was just going to happen that way, and guess what? It didn't. I had a seven-year journey of infertil infertility, meandering in and out of all the adventure that came with that. So, when I found out I was pregnant, I had a lot of time to think prior to that. So I had a good idea of what exactly I wanted out of my pregnancy and delivery. Because it didn't come easy for me, so it gave me a chance to think and what I was supposed to learn in my journey. And I learned a lot about myself in my journey, so I knew that I was very sensitive to medicine. A little dab will do me, and it really actually had a big bad interaction on me most of the time. I got more bad effects than I got the good when I used medicine historically. So that brings me to point number one. Chose me uh, natural childbirth because I figured, even though I had never given birth to a child, the pain of childbirth had to be less to me than the days and the days and the days after delivery with a brand new baby in my arms trying to get an epidural out of my body and out of my system. Because I spent a long time trying to tell people it just a little bit is enough for me. It just a little bit is enough for me. So much that I had a my one and only cavity filled. I told the d dentist, I was like, I don't want any drugs for this because this cavity filling can't hurt nearly as bad as childbirth. And I think we could be over and done with it faster than we wait for all the things to kick in for the pain medicine. And that's exactly what we did. I was like, don't worry. I'll let you know if it hurts. It's probably hurting you more than it's hurting me. Which leads me to point number two, quicker time. Like you're not sitting around waiting for things to kick in or you had to get there early enough to make sure you get whatever you need for labor and delivery like an epidural and an IV and things like that. So it's quicker. My story, I was there for 43 minutes at the hospital. There was a good chance that she could have been in the circle drive. And that was all designed by plan that I was going to be at the hospital for the minimal amount of time um, and the third one is if I'm sensitive to medication there's a good chance that my baby is sensitive to medication so if I chose not to have if I chose to have since I chose to have natural childbirth then I didn't have to worry about any of those drugs getting out of my baby system to, to also for the first couple of days of her life. So let's recap those real quick. Uh, you can choose natural childbirth because you re react strongly to drugs. So there's a reason why. Quicker time. You don't have to be at the hospital for advanced prep and all of these things that you need. You can get in there, have your baby, and get out of there. And the third one, it also keeps your baby from having those medications go into their bloodstream too. These are all the things that would have happened to my baby if I hadn't have chose natural childbirth. 
So it was things that I got to think about, things that I determined, and it all started with me knowing myself better, that I knew, hey, it's weird when I take something all the time, it always seems to be more of a problem with the that than it does with the whatever thing I'm trying to help. So that's how I did it, and I got to spend 40 weeks in one day explaining to people. This is why I'm going to do this. If it doesn't work out right that way, I'm okay with that. But this is how I'm going to put my best effort into doing these things because I know it's going to be best for me. I know it's going to be best for my baby. And then I I was confident and let them know crystal clear. This is what we're working towards. This is what we're doing. I'm all fine if something goes off the plan. You know, things go off the plan regularly but if I had the mindset of this is what was going to happen and this is what I was going to do more than likely that's going to happen that you get um the outcome you want so I got um excuse me the natural childbirth I wanted I didn't have to worry about the days after to try to get everything out of my system I got to enjoy time with my baby And bonding with her and doing all the fun things you do for the first 72 hours after you give childbirth because you're already going to be tired and exhausted. You just ran a marathon. And in my case, I ran a marathon at a sprinter's pace. I did it all quickly. I prayed through my whole thing that this was was going to be very quick and easy. And my doula was like, you know, it's really hard and intense that way when they're quick. And I was like, great. I can do hard things for a short amount of time so I couldn't have done a sprint for the whole marathon but I could do a marathon at a sprint's pace very quickly and then you're exhausted and hungry afterwards which is exactly was my case I was like look I'm eating like I ran a marathon because I just did so if you we talk about all of these things in my mom's in the middle Facebook group because it's mom's in the middle of kids an aging parent. So we talked about everything from birth to death in the group. So if that sounds like, hey, that's my people, then come join us. The link is in the description and I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye.